Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. This is going to be kind of a quick video, but I really wanted to show this off because we finally have a publicly available build of Android for the Odroid Go Super. Now, unfortunately, this only works for the Super. It may be ported to the older models in the future, and this is actually based on Android 11. This is Lineage OS 18.1. And this was put together by a user on the Odroid forum who goes by the name No Time to DB. Now there's a lot of stuff that's working here. Battery, charging info, hardware accelerated graphics, hardware video encoding, decoding, the backlight, Bluetooth audio with a dongle, the speakers working, headphones working. So it's really getting there, but there's one major factor that's holding Android back on these units, and that's really the storage. The Odroid Advances don't have internal storage, and it all relies on a micro SD card. And if you've ever tried to run Android from a micro SD card, you know it can get a bit laggy. But they've tried their hardest to get this up and running as well as they can from an SD card. And there's a lot of usable stuff in here. This build even comes with Google Play pre-installed, and you can sign right into your account and download different applications from there. All the buttons are working. We can navigate with the D-pad. We can navigate with the analog stick. We have our enter button, back button, home button, and even the power button works to bring us back into the menu to restart or power off the device. Now I have run into some bad performance with the higher end emulators using Android, but like I mentioned, it's still early. I know this will get better down the road. And I got a feeling that we could get some really good like N64 and Dreamcast emulation out of this unit with Android, but there's still some fixes that need to be implemented into this build. But this is a great step forward for Android on the Odroid Go Advances, especially the super model that I have here because we have that five inch screen, dual analog sticks. Unfortunately, we don't have Wi-Fi built in and that's why I have that USB dongle plugged into the top here. But I have gone through and downloaded a few native Android games that I wanted to show off running on this unit. Now, not everything boots up properly, Real Racing 3 crashes on me, same thing with San Andreas, but I was able to download a few games from the Google Play Store that do work properly on this unit. Now with this early build, we don't have any Vulkan support, and hopefully we do get that down the road because we could get increased performance with PSP running Android on this unit with Vulkan. But OpenGL does work, and a lot of these native Android games and emulators only use OpenGL, so there's still a lot of stuff that can be done on this unit like it sits right now. So the first thing I wanted to test here was Minecraft. I'll go ahead and get into a little bit of gameplay. So here it is, the Android version of Minecraft running on the Odroid Go Super. Now I did have to go into the settings and turn the chunks down, but this actually performs way better than I thought it would. It's definitely not perfect, but you gotta keep in mind this is really early. This will get better over time. And by the way, sound is working with this. There's just not a lot of sound in Minecraft here. Next up, uh, Beach Buggy Racer. This was just one that I downloaded from the Google Play Store. I'm not a personal fan of it, but it did work when I booted it up, and it actually runs flawless. And as you can see, the built-in controls are working, so as long as the game supports controllers on Android, it will detect this as an Android controller, and you can use it. Next up, another 3D game from the Google Play Store. We have Riptide GT, I believe that's what this is called, but it's running really good here. This is definitely very playable on this device.
Moving over to a little bit of PSP emulation using the standalone version of PPSSPP. I'm at 1x resolution with that OpenGL backend. I tested some harder to run games and they were a bit laggy, but as you can see, the easier to emulate games are going to be playable right now. And one of the final applications I want to test here was RetroArch with some NES games. Like I mentioned, I did try some Dreamcast. I really wasn't getting great performance, kind of the same thing with N64. But I think as time goes on and more development goes into this build of Android, we will get much better performance out of N64, Dreamcast, and PSP. And as for video playback, I wanted to test out YouTube, but unfortunately there's no like mouse function built in, and the only way I could actually select a video was plugging a mouse into this unit. If I go here and try to hit A or start, I can only back out of the application. So I did have to plug in a mouse real quick to get this running. Let's go ahead and test this out. Now we're definitely not going to be able to do 4K video on this little screen, but uh, I've tested a few videos and they do play back really nicely. So overall, it definitely needs some work. I'll be keeping my eye on this project here. Really can't wait to get a nice stable release of this for the Odroid Go Super. Now, one thing that I was really excited about when this initially released was game streaming from apps like GeForce Now, xCloud, and Stadia. The only one that I've tested so far is Stadia, and I can almost get into a game and then it crashes out. I've actually ordered a new USB dongle because I'm actually working on 2.4 gigahertz right now. When I get an AC Wi-Fi adapter that works with this build, I'll definitely do a video checking out some game streaming as long as everything works well. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Really appreciate you watching. I'm super excited about this. Like I mentioned, I've been waiting for an Android build for these Odroid Go Advances for a long time, and we finally got one, but it does need a little bit of work. If you're interested in at least checking this out, I will leave a link to the Odroid forum in the description. All you need to do is flash it to a micro SD card with Etcher, boot it up, and you'll be running Android 11 on your Go Super. Now, if you do end up installing this and testing out apps, let us know in the comments below what's working and what's not. But that's it for this one, and like always, thanks for watching.